Welcome back everybody. We have just explored all four of the primary islands and we are back on Jungle Island now. Except we have entered in from a different area. So it looks like an elevator here. And it would normally take you up and if you were to exit out this small passage here, uh, you would miss the upper part of the elevator. Because if you look at the switch on the right here, it looks like it's got some uh, worn marks on the wood there, so you could possibly switch it upwards and possibly go to a second level. So you kind of have to look at those details. Otherwise you wouldn't know that there were uh, three different floors this elevator could access if you weren't paying attention to the, wo the worn marks on the, the wood there. And now we're at the level of the treetops where we can actually see and po possibly uh, activate this spinning dome. So if we take a look at the symbol, the gold symbol, okay, there it is. That one is associated with red and Jungle Island. So Jungle Island, uh, its color is red. So we're that much closer to finding all the various hints. And if you look down there, that's odd. Huh, that uh, Wark effigy is at the base of the tree there. It's like a way of maybe shutting off all the villagers from even trying to get into the secret passages of Gen and his followers? Hmm, maybe. Anyway, it looks like we're spotted again by one of the guard towers, so we're still not going to be able to talk to any villagers. In fact, you can't, but... It's just a way of uh, letting you know that uh, they resumed their daily lives after you, have le after you had left the island, but now that you're back, they're going to hide back into their homes. And if you take a look, it looks like... I'm not really sure how they get into that guard tower. <laughs> Seems to be only room for one person in there. Huh, so you get a nice little freaky chair with a wark uh, lower jawbone there. Now this part, most people may or may not get uh, what the whole sole purpose of this is. But if you think about it, again, if you think Gin is the only one who's going to be able to sit in this chair, it makes, makes a lot more sense. So he's sitting on high, like a god, looking down at the village. And there's that interesting structure we keep seeing, and so it closes the water. Why would that be? So if you think about it, it's almost like an execution. Like the person is lowered from above, and right at the last minute, uh, Gin opens up and the wark is revealed and the wark eats the person as, well, he d he's descending down into the water. And that actually flows well with that small toy we found a couple videos ago in the classroom where, you know, where you learned the numbers 1 through 10 in the Denis alphabet and how each hangman was slowly being drawn slow, uh, exonerably to the the wark mouth, and then whoever lost was the one who got eaten by the wark. So that little child's toy makes a lot more sense when you look at it from on high. So kind of disturbing that Gen used the the animal to pretty much frighten some of the villagers into submission. So he possibly maybe took some of the rebels, the the very people who took our trap linking book, and sacrificed them to the wark in front of everybody. Uh, all the villagers. I mean, what kind of trauma does that does that do, you know, to people when when they just like witness their friends or people they knew, they've once known slowly, you know, descend down to the water and then ultimately get eaten by this whale. So it's it's a pretty pretty rough concept, but yeah, I didn't I didn't quite get the whole purpose of that until after I read uh, certain things uh, online about it. Now, if you press this little button in the lower right here, see how it goes down? You can actually activate the uh, mouth of the Wark effigy here, the Wark Shrine or whatever. So if you wanted to do things out of order in Riven, you, a you absolutely could. You could explore Spire Island long before you even touched Crater Island. So, oh, ooh! Little girl. Cute. 
But that's the closest you're going to get to any villagers. Again, we're going to pass by the fish-like opening. Don't even bother trying to uh, find the, the fifth eye. You're just not going to get to it. Simple as that. Now, hopefully, no one's moved our submarine so we can get back into it and go to that uh, execution structure over there now that we've closed the uh, water panel. And this is really the last time we'll be needing to use this submarine. Uh, we'll be done with the underwater portion of this island because we will be opening up a shortcut on the upper catwalk along the wall on the cliff walls that will enable us to get up to the upper area without having to do the submarine and this whole execution uh, dealio. So yeah, as I said before, I didn't really quite get the whole purpose of what this structure was actually used for until after I had beaten the game and looked it up. So you can now that I'm now that I know better, you know, I can look at this thing with a different eye. So you pull this switch and a small I guess you could say bar comes down with uh, two holes in it, room for like somebody's feet to be secured in. And you can just like slowly watch them as if they're descending panicking, you know, screaming as Gin opens the door and the work comes up and eats them whole. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to sit on the, the execution bar as it goes back up. Kind of cool that. And now you lo you go to what looks like a holding cell for people who are waiting to be executed. But uh, ooh, there's someone in there. Who is that person? Is it someone who's waiting for the execution, or someone who's supposedly free but pretending to be in prison? Oh, looks like he's looking at us slightly. So is he pretending to be in prison, but he's actually able to roam free? Oh, well, we got to go in and talk to him. So let's open up this gate. Oh, oh, what just happened? He's gone. Well, where could he have gone? The obvious thing is to look in this little grate here and see if you can feel for any switches down in the murky water. And sure enough, we found something. A secret passage right under Gen's nose in the very prison he put people in while they were waiting to be executed for whatever crimes he felt them uh, responsible for. Very, very ingenious. But yes, you go through this pitch black hallway and I mean you're literally just clicking for quite a few times because you're you're just you have no idea where you're going but if you you come to a dead end but if you activate that little light ball you can go back a couple ways and find some more to activate and that will help light up the hall all the way back to the entrance Okay, so that's as many light balls we're able to find, and we find this hidden door. Oh, those crafty people. And we get to a room which holds the second macro puzzle of the entire game. Now, this is where those rolling eyes with the sounds and the numbers come into play. You see all these blocks here? Each one represents a single animal that's possibly uh, residing in this age. 
and now you have to figure out which of the five animals you need to press and in what order. So if we take into account the order of the Dunedin numeric system, the fish would be first. So you press that. Now the next number would be number two, and that was linked, if you recall, to the beetle. So we press that. Now we got to look for a frog symbol because that was uh, associated with the Dini number of three. That looks like a frog to me. So let's press that. Finally, number four was the otter penguin seal thing. There it is. That looks similar to what we're thinking of. And then finally, the bork. The whale with the tusks was number five. Yep, that looks kind of like it. So we have inputted the five uh, part combination in the correct order. And so now we can have access to the flowing water thing, whatever. It's kind of cool looking. But basically there's a linking book behind that, uh, that wall there. And it leads to the Moiety's secret age. And the crazy thing is that they did this all under Gen's nose, and he has no idea where they are at this time. Ah, and it looked like they've utilized a different type of uh, power source than Gens to have the link active. And there is their home tree, which is the, I guess, the box cover for the game of Riven. So now you could actually see the box cover in the actual game itself. Kind of a weird looking tree. It's almost man made in a sense. Well, there's really not much to do except to go back into this little cave behind you. And it looks like it's a small effigy of Gen with a whole bunch of daggers stuck into it. Kind of funny, that. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just got shot with a dart. So now you are captured. Who knows what's going to happen to you next. I'm not exactly sure what he was <laughs> referencing when he talked to the other guy in the boat, but uh, it seemed like it was pretty obvious and redundant, whatever he said. Like, that's my home. Of course it's your home. You you both live there. So why are you pointing it out to your friend? I don't, I don't understand. But then again, I don't understand the language, so he could have said something completely different, but that's how I took it. <laughs> so you wake up. If the game ever loads but if you wake up in a barren, rocky room. Come on, there we go. And there's really not much around in this room for you to do. You can look outside and that's where you were. You were all the way down there across the lake. You can go out here in the door and look out into the community inside the tree. And depending on various random factors, you can actually see multiple people in various areas. Like right now, we're seeing some somebody in those windows right ahead. Sometimes you'll see folks actually walking on the bridge, the bridges that are looping around. And sometimes you can see people walking on the path down below. It's all random, and it just depends on, you know, the number generator, which video, which, you know, movie you're going to see as you you know watch them go about their daily lives inside the tree so after looking outside for a little bit you you can 
wander around the room for some more, but then when you go back to the door, that's when someone comes in and starts talking to you. Do take note when she says Catherine. She says it kind of uniquely. So she's freely giving you back the missed tr uh, linking book, the trap book, and gave you something different. Looks like a diary of a sort. Now, <laughs> this diary is a little bit, oh gosh, this diary is a little bit hard to read because Catherine's handwriting is very hard to read. <laughs> so I will go through it as best as I can, and when, if you need to pause at any time, oh dear gosh, to read something from her book, by all means, pause. Because this book is actually the longest diary in the game. And, oh jeez, this is, oh come on. <sighs> okay. It looks like this book is really not cooperating with me right now. Whenever I do one click, it wants to flip two pages, and that's ridiculous. So if it flips two pages real quick, I'm sorry. See if you can pause the video real quick in between page flips, and I will do my best to try and go as slow as I can and maybe backtrack if it, if it tries to skip something. But yeah, this goes into a lot of detail between the time Catherine first came to Riven, back to Riven, that is, and uh, what she has done with the people, and how she stole ideas and things from Gen to make a better source of, uh, a better power source for linking. Oh, and here is a very important clue here. Jot down those numbers, because uh, that is the I guess you could say the trick or the code for the ice cream telescope. So you find that in the Journal of Catherine. Oh gosh, I hate this. This is. I don't know why it's like flipping back and forth between the pages like crazy. Sorry, everybody. Almost done. Yes, you can clearly see the amount of work she did to get her people to safety and, you know, make a decision about her overall character. And if you take a look at the book itself, very nice. Just don't touch it. That'll open up another ending which you probably don't want. Anyway, we get another conversation with her friend, which we now assume to be Nila. And that's it. That's all we can do here. So we got a link back to Riven. And now we have to solve the problem of Gen's malfun malfunctioning books. We need to bring power to them so we can link and meet him face to face and hopefully trap him inside the book.
we are not going down that pathway again. We're actually going to follow this catwalk here all the way to the lower section and release the the ladder, as it were, so we can have an easy way of coming back to the Moaiti age. Not that you would. There's actually no point going back to the Moaiti's age. Uh, just that if you wanted to, you could. So we're actually going to make a small detour through Crater Island because we actually want to go back to Temple Island but not the way we came uh, originally. We want to come in from a different angle to Temple Island and the only way to do that is to go through Crater Island. So we're going to have to take this uh, wild ride through the minecart again. And as we now know, this uh, these, I guess, uh, circles of light are heat sources, which would be why we're going through the entire ocean completely dry. The water is adversely avoiding the train the rail tracks here because of the heat generated from these uh, orange circles of heat. Yeah, this is the only bit of backtracking we really need to do. I mean, if I if I had uh, thought about it a little bit more, I probably should have gone to the Golden Dome and lowered the bridge and extended out the catwalk inside the actual dome itself to kind of save me time of doing this. But I didn't really think about it at the time when we were on the Crater video, the Crater uh, Island video. Oh well. It's no big deal. We can just go through this again. And yes, we got to remember to shut the doors again so we can head along the pathway past Gen's lab and get to the Golden Dome proper. And this is it. We are going to stop here and explore and secure the power source for Gen's broken linking books in the next video. Until then, see you later.